Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. This is one of those mods that I've had on my list to do for so long and have put off. Only mainly because I'm not that fond of castle homes myself. Now I've seen it, I'm so impressed with this. It's a 2012 mod by Pi Harmonic. It was uh, converted to SSE in 2019 by Forzane. And this is what it looks like. We are in the Forgotten Vale. And uh not sure. But yeah, there is a local map, which is quite cool. Probably not helpful for you, though, when it comes to finding it. Um, head to the Forgotten Vale and go to the Shrine of Resolution. Look to your right, and you just can't miss this place. It's part Fort Dawnguard and part Aeliad Snow Elf dwelling. It's a, it's a funny mixture with all sorts of fascinating little bits and bobs and a really brilliant quest. I'll just quickly show you in my journal. It's called Frozen Within Ice. And as you could see, I had to kill various people, read various notes, do some exploring. Uh, and yeah, so this place is enormous. So let's start at the front door. Yeah, when you get to this point, as you walk up, you'll find a this dude. Oh my god, how ugly are they? Terrifying, eh? And there is the front door. Wow, that's magnificent. I love the icicles. What a great job. Hey, I'm gonna get totally lost in here because I always do in castles. You know it, I know it, it's nothing new. I have hired guards. I've also hired a maid. So, mm, you see the deco? It's, it, it's a good effort for 2012, that's what I say. Let's start with the living quarters. There are basically four sections. Uh, living quarters, private quarters, dungeons, um, and the hallways. All these mannequins, weapon racks, display cases. Everything that I have looked at works. And it's pretty big. Very imposing. Oh, check it out. There's a rug on the ceiling I didn't even realise was there. I really must remember to look up. Yes. Oh, you can make them into followers. Mm -hmm. it looks very cool, doesn't he? Scary eyes. Okay, then some storage. Library. Dining area. Plenty of room for books. A nice little planter. Cobwebs in the corner. Somebody sniffing right in my ear. I don't know why the sniffing loud uh, sound is always so loud. Hey, so that's that. Here we go. Standing there. All right, I will try my best not to get lost, and if I do, then I'll just put some Benny Hill music on and, and watch me running around. So, chests and safes. Storage. Oh, these corridors, though. There are so many. Okay, the dungeons lead to the Pantheon, hey, which is where all your shrines are. And there's your kitchen down here also, and your maid if you've hired one. She is, and my dog. Lovely. This is part of the quest. Um, you will have you'll have to kill the I think it will maybe it was the snow elf. Honestly, I've forgotten now it was that long ago. And then That'll give you the ewer. I'll let you come down here. The Lost Cavern. And this place was full of Falma. I mean, not massive amounts, but quite a few. And they were quite tough. And you had to kill the Overseer in here. Look at this. Isn't it gorge? Very nice. Oh, the bodies are still here. Look at that. 
I think he's done a great job with this. Anyway, I will get a move on because it is such a huge place and there's a lot to see. This is just a brief overview, so if it's something that interests you, then download it and give it a go because the quest is fun. Okay, so back to where we... Oops. The Way Shrine. Did I even know this was here? <laughs> what do you need? I don't think so. Oh, wow. Would you look at this? Oh, this is stunning. Is this working? Yes. Okay, this is now my new favourite spot in this place. Wow, that is gorgeous. Look at the majesty of this room. Wow, okay, let's just go and check these things out. Look, going to Markov, check it. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, and it's so in keeping as well with this mod. Perfect, I'll just check one more. That's solitude. And there are stones everywhere, there's white run. Okay, I love this mod officially now. <laughs> to be honest, as a player home, I really found it not really to my taste. Uh, but this has changed my mind. This is amazing. Oh, it's magnificent. Okay, well, I am so glad I turned left instead of going straight ahead. <laughs> or vice versa. Getting lost isn't always a bad thing, eh? Apparently. Who knew? Okay, back to where we were. Back to the kitchens. Much more mundane. As you can see, there's an alchemy lab. A few recipes. Uh, yeah, I mustn't forget about the actual utility of the place, really. Safes and storage. All over the place. Oh, and the maid will sell you fruit and veg. Oh yes, there's a lovely pool. Look at this. Most unexpected down here. And there's another way up. And there's also your smithy down here too. Oops, sorry, Shay. So, workbench, anvil, tanning rack, grindstone, and a big old forge, and a smelter, and more storage. Plenty of it. Another way up there. Goes back round in a loop. And the Pantheon is your shrine room. This is also fab, isn't it? Really well done. And this was one of the first castles to use the Dawnguard assets, I gather. It did a good job. All right, let's head back up. Oops. You want to rest for a bit? <laughs> oh, well, I think she's bored and tired. We'll head back up to the um, living quarters. Ah, oh, right. Okay, so. Here's your staff room. Staff or followers, there's one of my guards asleep. It's kind of basic. But it's alright. Oh, this is a handy thing to have. So, it tells you about the different areas. The halls, uh, living quarters, private quarters, undercroft. Uh, where the bathing room is and the access to the pantheon that we just saw. And, uh, yeah. Nice. Don't forget to lock the castle when you leave. Actually, talking about books. So, that was written by the guy that constructed the castle. But the owner of the castle, the book is just brilliant. Gives you the backstory. Um, it's his frozen journal. Poor guy. 
he's he's <laughs> he's constructed this place he's uh, commissioned the construction of this place and is so excited about it uh, and then you can see the days going down to when he arrives here and uh, yeah <laughs> he gets eaten by the giant <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing I'm, I apologise uh, you find his skull actually on the giant's body also so yeah, that's kind of mean, but funny. Oh, there's my chickens. <laughs> what? All right then. Okay, so moving on to the private quarters, which are up the stairs. And uh, this leads to your room. There's a guard. This is basically just one giant room with everything in it. So you've got your bed, a bunch of wardrobes, mannequins, some deco. That's nice. Bookshelves. And a massive bar. And fireplace. The obligatory dead animals and statues. There's another copy of the guide. So that's useful. God, God, go. <laughs> More storage? It's everywhere. And in these niches, you've got the rest of your crafting, so alchemy, enchanting. As you can see, there's storage all around them. So that's handy to have. And kind of like mini little armory. I like it. It's neat. There's just too much grey for my personal taste, you know? Head up to the Forgotten Vale. Just takes you out onto the platform. Oh, what a night. Beautiful. Um, you can't actually go anywhere from here. It's just a, a viewpoint, yeah, really. Okay. Wow, and what a viewpoint. I honestly don't know why there aren't more homes in the Forgotten Vale. I've only ever visited one before. And I think that was in Old Skyrim. It's such an unused, or underused, and underappreciated sort of place. Oh, magnificent, isn't it? What do you think, Baljon? That sky, oh, amazing. Divine smile on you, friend. Oh, he's a friendly one. So yeah, that just about covers the private quarters. What do you think? I mean, it is showing its age, I think. These days, you tend to find a whole lot more going on in a place of this size, you know? But having said that, I absolutely love the fact that you can have a really good fun quest and that you can get something really smashing at the end of it. Look at these statues. There are so many of them as well. They're all over the place. That's where we came in. All right, so the last thing to mention, on the other side of the Lost Cavern where we came in, if you carry over straight across the ice, past all my dead bodies, uh, you will come out up here. And if you just follow this round, there's a whole bunch of storage and there's our ghostly friend. I've forgotten your name, I'm so sorry. Pavea Aldiaris. Yes. And he is the guy um, that lets you hire staff have a conversation with him he doesn't actually respond out loud but you know gives you a nice bit of story which i always love and appreciate goes on a bit and uh, yes like i was saying you can hire staff so i've already got the guards and a maid prisoners i want to buy prisoners i really don't uh or a dog hire bathing girls I, a monk. Yeah, no, I don't want any of those things. Thanks a lot. But appreciate it. Bathing girls? What the heck? Mm -hmm. What the heck are bathing girls? Uh, so, yeah, most of these treasures are static. Some of them you can take. And there's a whole bunch of uh, storage options here. Oh, the views, though. Magical, this place. 
absolutely magical. And then speaking of magic, you can go through these back to the hallways or to the Pantheon or to the private quarters. So that is, you know, very cool. Let's go back to the Pantheon. Because I think this room is stunning. So I'm going to leave it here, call that the end of this video and say thank you so much as always for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one and I hope it hasn't been too disjointed for you. I will see you soon for the next one and take care and stay safe everybody.